And I thought, my God, what happens if all of these people get back there and there's a fire? What happens? Pe people, people get panicky when fire hits. And there's, this canyon is so, it's like a one-way street almost. It's a very narrow little road. And you get a fire truck in here and you can't get anything else. If a fire broke out at the back, in the, the back of the canyon, first of all, it would spread incredibly fast, incredibly fast. I don't know that a lot of us would have time to get out. The road in Ramirez Canyon, it has two entrances, but it's to a single road. One of them is through a single lane tunnel that comes out by Paradise Cove. If you have a, a big van, it's probably not even gonna make it through there. The other access is off of Winding Way and down Delaplane. And then it comes into a small country road that is privately maintained and it goes through a series of what they call Arizona crossings. In other words, the road actually dips down and when it's uh, the rainy season, the water can flow down in, in substantial amounts and those Arizona crossings then become rivers. As you go further down, there's a little bridge that I think is only like 11 feet across. And then it goes back to the uh, former Streisand estate is with a little small turnaround on it. If something goes wrong and people need to be evacuated, having one single way of getting out and, and it being so small, um, it's dangerous. Adding more traffic to this street and bringing more people into the park, um, especially overnight, it's just, it's dangerous. It's just dangerous. I think that if you haven't been in a fire, you don't realize what happens. It was probably the most frightening thing that ever happened to me. I, first of all, it gets dark. You can't see. You know, it's, it's like night without the moon. <laughs> you can't see anything. Your eyes are burning. You, you can't breathe easily. It's a very traumatic situation. There's nobody in the country or the world who hasn't seen the footage of the big fires here in Malibu when the Santa Ana winds blow. I work uh, as a firefighter here in Southern California, and I happen to be on a number of these fires, but in particular the Corral Fire in 2007. The fire started about 3 or 4 in the morning, and by the time it got done, 50 people lost their homes. You know, the, the state of California has spent millions and millions of dollars fighting big fires over the last few years.